Hello and welcome to Matt the Groundhopper. So we've got a new feature today, it's called Who is Bigger? And the idea of this is we are going to compare and contrast two rival clubs to find out who finally is the biggest club. Today's turn is Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. Let's take a look. Let's make a start. So just a bit of background information. So for those of you who don't know where Sheffield is, it's in England and it's in South Yorkshire. The Sheffield United play at Bramwell Lane, based very much in the town. Sheffield Wednesday, north of the town in the area of Hillsborough. Personally, I've never been to either club. I'm hoping to ground hop to both clubs this year. Love both clubs. Both been around for many, many years. So I'm looking forward to my trip to both, to both the stadiums. So the clubs have been playing each other since 1890. So that's 133 years. This is quite incredible. And only little fact for you, only two managers have managed both United and Sheffield Wednesday, and they are Danny Wilson and Steve Bruce. So the grounds are about three miles apart. I mean, look, how does it work as a fan? I mean, if you're from the northern part of the city, are you automatically a Sheffield Wednesday fan? And from the southern part, you're automatically a United fan? Is it as simple as that with a sort of geographical line going right for the middle? Or is it, is it a bit more complex than that? <laughs> Who's bigger, Sheffield United or Sheffield Wednesday? To help with the answer, I've devised seven rounds and on each round, I will be awarded a point to which club wins the round. And at the end of it, hopefully we will get an answer. So, straight on to round one. So on to round six. So what I've done is looking at recent history in the last 20 seasons. If a team's been in the top flight, you get awarded four points per season. In the second flight, i.e. sort of tier two, you get three points. And in league one, you get two points. So on this occasion, Sheffield United, they've actually been in the Premier League for three seasons in the last 20. 11 seasons in the championship and have had six seasons in league one. Likewise, Sheffield Wednesday, they've not been in the Premier League since, I think, mid-90s when they got relegated. They've had 14 seasons in the Championship and they've had 12 seasons in League One. Which, moving forward, I find for these two clubs, who I think they're both massive clubs, for these two clubs to be scrambling around in League One, I find quite incredible. Disappointing, really, because surely at least one of the Sheffield clubs should always be in the Premier League. That's my view. But um, as you can see, the scoring on this occasion is Sheffield United come out on top. <laughs> so 
So after six rounds, we are finally poised at 3-3. So the seventh and final round has to go to honours. So this goes back right to when the club was formed, because if you win an honour, it stays on your record forever. So I think it's only fair to award points for every honour that's won by the club. So if you win the Division 1, top tier, awarded five points. Division 2, four points. Division 3, two points. And Division 4, a point. And if you win the FA Cup, three points. And I think the League Cup as well, get three points for that as well. So starting with Sheffield United. So they've won the top tier, Division 1, once. They've won Tier 2 once as well. Tier 3 once. And also Tier 4 also once. And they've won four FA Cups. So that will give them 24 points. And Sheffield Wednesday, they've won the top tier four times. And they've won the second tier five times. Three FA Cups and one League Cup. So that gives them 52 points. So in my mind, that makes them the winner of this round. So that looks like Sheffield Wednesday won that round 52 points to 24. So there you have it. Sheffield Wednesday four, Sheffield United three. Sheffield Wednesday are the bigger club. If you don't agree with that, being a Sheffield United fan, which I completely understand, not agreeing with Wednesday being the bigger club, let me know in the comments. Why do you think your club's bigger? I've been completely unbiased. I've just used statistics and facts from the last few years, and I've devised my scoring system. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my ground hopping videos all around the UK. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Follow me on Twitter as well now. See you next time. Many thanks. Bye for now.